So Jim Acosta, I think because boy, he loves him some Jim Acosta. Gosh, does that guy love some Jim Acosta. In fact, it, I tell young Christians, if you're looking for a spouse, guys, if you're looking for a lady or ladies, if you're looking for a guy, you need to find a partner that loves you as much as Jim Acosta loves Jim Acosta. <laughs> so when, with that in mind, with that in mind, I think that this says something about who he is. Because there comes a point to where you are so arrogant and so full of yourself that you believe that you can do no wrong and you do not stop and do a lot of self-reflection. And I think that this is the problem with this clip. So Jim Acosta goes down to the border to prove once and for all that these idiot, Neanderthal, knuckle-dragging morons in the heartland that want a border wall, they're just stupid and they don't know anything. And that's the reason that they support this idea of a border wall. They're just blindly following Trump. And because of that, they don't know what they're talking about. Border walls don't work. And so this is Jim Acosta proving his point by actually going down to the border and trying to make the case. Yeah, this whole wall thing, that's just stupid. Nobody actually, th this isn't something that's going to be effective. This is Jim Acosta from CNN. And here are some of the steel slats that the president's been talking about uh, right here. Uh, as you can see, yes, you can see through these slats to the uh, other side of the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, but as we're walking along here, we're not seeing any kind of uh, imminent danger. There are no migrants trying to uh, rush toward this fence uh, here in the McAllen, Texas area. As a matter of fact, there are some other businesses uh, behind me along this highway. There's a gas station, Burger King, and so on. Uh, but no sign of the national emergency that the president has been talking about. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's pretty tranquil down here. All right, so the great truth teller of CNN, Jim Acosta, laying out the case of why the wall doesn't work. Why does the wall not work? Because in the area that he's in that has a border wall, it's peaceful and tranquil and there's businesses and there's no illegal immigrants trying to rush over the border. There's not crime. Wait a second. That means the wall works. Jim Acosta is so devoid of any sort of self-reflection or uh, awareness of his surroundings or how he comes off that he actually is there and you can see the smirk on his face. He's so smug. He's one of the, he's one of the most smug people that you're going to see on TV. And that is saying something, especially considering he's on CNN. Um, and he just believes that everything he touches is gold and everything works out. It's all sunshine and rainbows. He can't possibly be wrong because he's, of course, the great Jim Acosta and everybody loves some Jim Acosta. And so he's just sitting there so just so proud of himself that he's completely debunked the president and the Republicans talking points about the border and how the border wall would be effective by going down there and showing an area behind the border wall that actually is doing really well. It's almost as though the border wall works. And what's so hilarious about this is that the border stretches on for thousands upon thousands of miles. It would not have been difficult for Jim Acosta to have gone to an area without a border wall and just happen to be there at a time where there are no immigrants running across it or in an area where immigrants don't typically cross. They cross at a different area without a wall. And it would not have been hard for him to make that case and make exactly the case that he is making with, where there is no border wall. And then it actually would have been still not effective because it's, you know, anecdotal evidence. It's happening in one isolated place at one isolated time. But he goes to a place where there's actually a wall and the wall is serving its purpose and doing exactly what it's supposed to do and saying, see, there's no reason for a wall. It's all peaceful and tranquil and gosh knows Americans hate that. Uh, I, I know that this was on his Twitter and I know that this didn't actually air on CNN. So I don't know how much thought went into it. I don't know that the people at CNN were actually putting that together. But did nobody just stop Jim and say, yeah, this is a bad idea. In fact, this kind of makes the opposite point from the one that you're trying to make. I mean, even if Jim Acosta has zero self-awareness, and he does, 
did nobody surrounding him, his crew, the people traveling with him, did nobody sitting there think, yeah, actually, that kind of makes Donald Trump's point. Maybe we should refrain from boasting this. I guess not. And here's the thing. There are people on the left that are really good at playing politics. There are people on the left that are really good activists, that they can spin anything and try to make it sound really bad or really good, however they want to, the spin doctors, as we talk about. And there are people on the right that do it, too. I'm not saying there's not. But I'm just saying there are a lot of people on the left that are really good activists, that are really good at making their political points, even if I happen to disagree with them. Jim Acosta is not one of these people. Jim Acosta constantly puts his foot in his mouth and makes the other side's point for them. And so the irony here is he is a person that pretends to be a journalist, the White House correspondent for CNN, somebody that pretends to be a journalist, but has turned from journalist into activist because he does everything within his power to undermine the president, which if that's your job, if that's what you want to be, that's fine. You're a private citizen. You have a right to your opinion. In fact, that's exactly what I do. I am a political pundit. People pay me to give my opinion about po uh, politics and politicians. But Jim Acosta sort of veils himself in the cloak of an objective journalist to try to keep himself away from criticism and all the time really just being an activist in journalist clothing. But the thing is, and this is what's so great about it, I'm glad that Jim Acosta does this because he is the perfect example of the journalist that pretends to be objective, but is really obviously an activist. And the great thing about Jim Acosta is, while other people are pretty good at it, Jim Acosta is really bad at it, as this video demonstrates. That he's not even a good activist. And that's what's so awesome about it, is that he tries it. He's like, well, we're, we're going to at least pretend that this is objective when really it's just proving my point. And then it actually proves somebody else's point. So Jim Acosta not only is – he's not only not a good journalist because he can't be objective, he's also not even a very good opinion guy. He's also not even a very good activist. And so it really amazes me. I look at Jim Acosta and I'm like, if that guy has a future in broadcasting, I'm going to be just fine. I know that my career is going to be okay if Jim Acosta can make it. <laughs>